New today, the San Diego County Sheriff's Department is bringing attention to a 51-year-old unsolved murder. It was on this day back in 1967 that 14-year-old Nikki Benedict was stabbed and left to die walking home from a friend's house in Poway. And 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala joins us from Sheriff's Headquarters, where today Nikki's family hopes shedding light on this case could bring some big answers. The family has gone 51 years without knowing why this happened to Nikki. Both of her parents did die without those answers. And today, one of her three surviving sisters showed up here to the sheriff's department, reaching out with detectives to the public, hoping anyone with helpful information will come forward. Imagine knowing that your sister or your mother or your father, and Nikki's not the only one, there's a lot of unsolved cases. Imagine spending your lifetime dealing with this kind of, of violent murder that makes no sense. There's no motive. Imagine living your life like that. You would want to know. Mariana Basilla was only five years old when her 14 year old sister, Nikki Alexandra Benedict, was walking home from a friend's house and was critically stabbed, then left to die in a field off of Poway Road. An 11 year old boy found her suffering. It was only about 6 30 in the evening. Sheriff's deputies and medics tried to save Benedict's life, but she died once arriving at the hospital. When this crime happened, witnesses reported seeing a young man running from the scene. Investigators tell us almost every teenage boy in Poway was interviewed at the time, but detectives could not find a connection. And 51 years later, no one has been arrested for her murder. Detectives didn't want to give away any information regarding DNA or any other evidence linked to the knife in this case. They understand the killer may no longer be alive, but are still reaching out to the public, hoping anyone with helpful information will come forward. There's also a $1,000 reward for helpful information leading to an arrest. Reporting in Kearney Mesa, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.